Emerging from the political shadows today, the former UDP leader Patrick Falber donning a bright red t-shirt showed up in front of the UDP headquarters at the foot of the Bell China Bridge. And just a few feet behind Falber and his crowd, Moses Shine Bauer was inside the UDP's headquarters hosting a press conference on national issues. He says Faber's surprise protest was a distraction. Part of being a, a strong opposition is not being distracted. Barrow is right, but at this time the opposition isn't strong because of its internal fighting. The party's former leader took that up a notch today when he appeared with a group of protesters calling Barrow and party chairman Michael Per feet out. UDP! The police showed up a few of them, but they let the protesters do what they had. The protest lasted a few minutes, just enough for the media to get enough footage and this back and forth between Faber and Diane Finnegan. And the Belizean people have been following Faber's personal and political battles, both intertwined. Today, Faber's voice cracked as he got emotional when he was speaking of rules. My concern there is that we follow the rules. If we follow the rules, there is no problem. And you know why? I unwillingly, very reluctantly, had a press conference today and I'm speaking the way I'm speaking. In fact, in ordinary times, I wouldn't go out there in front of the UDP press conference to make noise. I wouldn't do that. That's disrespectful to my party. But I am now convinced that they, the, the, the people who are running this party don't have any regard for the rules. Yeah. Well, let us follow the rules. Yeah. This today is breaking the rules, but it is because I have no other option. If you kick me out of the party that I love so dearly, I've worked my life for this party. And you will tell me that I can't represent my people. And I'm not interested in the rules anymore. We want to fix things. We have to stop the nonsense. We have to stop this, 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 this dictatorship. It's not about me. It's not even about me. It's not about me. For all of the people who, who asked, because I know I run. I tell them I know. Okay, when I resigned in January, nobody was forcing me to resign. I said I was not okay. I said I needed time to work on my personal issues. I said I wanted to go back and finish my doctoral degree. That is what I'm doing. And I become father, I want to be a leader. I am young, you know. I'm 44 years old. The prime minister, 62. I could come back 17 years from now. Then, if my math career, maybe it's not. I could come back. But for now, coming back for Faber seems almost impossible. He is going against almost all the leaders of the party he had built. We made a very impromptu, just a just a little glimmer of what is possible. Uh, last minute when it is we are uncomfortable and um, just for the record uh, we uh, of course support the fight against all the issues that are happening in our country we have for the record a, a government that is very bad for this country uh, we support all of those issues fighting the government and trying to maintain that we get good quality government but our little show of strength this morning was more to say, while it is, yes, there are national issues, but you can't fight national issues if your home isn't right and all is not well in the United Democratic Party. That's because Faber and Bauer are like oil and water. They simply cannot get along. It's been a long-standing political feud that has splintered the once powerful UDP. We tried to give peace a chance. There are things that we had to speak up about. And of course, the most recent thing 
is that they will say to me as a member, long-standing member, <laughs> general of this party, that you, you could, in fact, we, 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 don't, we no longer hold you in, in good standing in the party. That was the first sign that you're no longer in good standing with a party that you helped to build from the shambles. Mm -hmm. And I will make it crystal clear that I am a UDP and there is nobody, nobody who is going to run Patrick Farber out of the United Democratic Party. Nobody. I will also tell you that there is nobody who will run Patrick Farber out of the Collette Division. I am a UDP. But if the UDP does not want me to run under their ticket, I am not abandoning the people of color. So, so, the UDP can decide this seat, this seat is going to go with Patrick Farber. The UDP needs to decide if they are going to go along with us here in color. And if that doesn't happen, what then? Since independence, no independent candidate has won a seat in the general elections. If Albert takes that route, it will be uncharted territory, and political observers say it will be the debt of his political career. I am a UDP. Out of the way. This constituency of color, if you know what, test it, make we test it. But this is not UDP. This, I said it is a strong UDP constituency, but it is a strong UDP constituency because its leader, yours truly, I am a UDP. That is why this division is UDP. That is why it is UDP. And when you, when you tell me that I can't run for the UDP, wherever or however I decide to run, because run I will run. However I decide. I am willing to bet. I am willing to bet that the people of this constituency will follow my lead because the people of this constituency. Reporting for Love News, Polito Novello.